Hey Cow Bears and welcome to this week's Berkeley Beat. From ASUC Sprawling to Funky Tasting Water, we have the latest campus news to keep you updated. I'm Ellie Mead and the Berkeley Beat starts now. In national news, California's historic drought has caused Governor Jerry Brown to put the first ever state restrictions on water use. This means that places like college campuses will have to start restricting their water use by one fourth. Speaking of water, you probably noticed the strange taste of our water this past week. East Bay Municipal Utilities started drawing water from the top portion of the Party Reservoir, which happens to contain a thriving algae population. While the water is treated and perfectly safe to drink, the presence of the algae means it has a strange taste and smell. In response to the flurry of complaints East Bay Municipal received, they returned to drawing water from the deeper part of the reservoir. This means our water should be back to tasting normal by Monday. In more somber news, UCPD have reported two sexual assaults at Foothill in the past month. One occurred on March 3rd, the other on March 19th but no further details have been released about the crimes, the alleged perpetrators, or the victims. And now for a science update. Our very own UC Berkeley engineers have invented a new smart bandage that detects early tissue damage before it can be seen by the human eye. The smart bandage will facilitate a huge improvement in patient care, bed sores being an issue affecting over 2.5 million Americans. With ASUC campaigning season in full swing, let's go to our correspondent Ashlyn to find out what you guys think of it all. Hi, my name is Ashlyn Laporiaresi, and we're out here on Sproul to see how people feel about ASUC campaigning. Right now, it's kind of in like the honeymoon phase of like hard campaigning. It's not nearly as obnoxious as it like usually gets. So I'm kind of I'm fine with it right now. But if it gets kind of like excessive, because like after like the third time someone walks you to class, it just gets kind of like annoying. I feel like you get that one-on-one -on -one conversation with that person and I mean in our campus you see like the videos and all that stuff like propaganda everywhere and like here it's like you see it everywhere too but the people are actually there with you and you're talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. Lastly, freshman admission decisions were released on March 28th. This year over 78,000 applications were received, marking another record year for enrollment. We congratulate all of the future bears that made it past the highly selective and competitive process. We hope to see all of you on April 18th for Cal Day, a day that allows prospective students to get a taste of UC Berkeley and Golden Bear Pride. And that's it for this week. Be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter and Snapchat and stay tuned for our coverage of the upcoming ASUC elections. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on the Berkeley Beat.